Hey guys, I hope you're all really well. So today I'm going to be filming my fake tanning routine. You guys have no idea how many questions I get about fake tanning. And I don't think I've ever done a video on how I fake tan, just purely because it's taken me like this long to get to a stage where I'm like, okay, I feel like I can talk about fake tan now. <laughs> I started using fake tan in about, um, when I was like 16 maybe, maybe even younger. Um, and there were some very disastrous moments. Um, but now I feel like I'm at a stage where I've got a good routine set down. Um, I'm always happy with the way it turns out now. Like I don't have orange streaky hands anymore or anything like that. And I've also found an amazing product that I love to use at the moment. So I'm really excited to share this with you guys. Um, hopefully this will be helpful for people that are very pale and feel like they can't fake tan without looking stupid. I try and always go for a pretty natural fake tan look, like this is two days old um, and it still looks pale, like I still look pale. Whenever I go on shoots and things and I'm fake tanned, they'll be like, oh you're very pale, I'm like, I'm wearing fake tan. <laughs> Personally I use fake tan just to feel more confident and just happier, I just like the way it looks. I like the way I feel when I've got a nice tan um, and I will also never tan so <laughs> So over the years I've realised that prep is definitely one of the most important parts of fake tanning. Um, so I have a few products here that I love and always use um, before I fake tan. So the first stage in my prep is to shave and I generally try and shave the day before I'm going to tan or like I'll shave in the morning and then I will tan in the evening or something like that just so it gives the hair follicles like a chance to settle down and then you don't get those brown spots like settling on your legs which is not what you want then after i've shaved i will exfoliate either with like a natural scrub or i will use this mitt from loving tan this has two like really coarse sides to it and you can just like scrub your body completely i have a product actually but it's in where i'm at uni so i don't have it at home right now but um it's the bondi sands um tan eraser and it's so good like you put it on your dry skin before you get in the shower um, and leave it for about five minutes and then if you get in the shower and just scrub it off like your tan just comes straight off so once I'm out of the shower and I'm dry I will use a moisturizer um, I use two different moisturizers I often use the Glossier um, intensive moisturizer on like my knees and my elbows and then everywhere else I use something a bit lighter like this Vaseline Aloe Soothe. This smells so good and I've always found that this works really well with tanning products so yeah this is definitely a good one to go for. And then I will leave that all to soak in completely. Um, again I often do this separately to when I tan um, so I like leave it for a bit and then I'll tan um, once this is all settled in. And then when it comes to tanning I will pop a little bit on my really dry areas like my knees, ankles, elbows. So moving on to the fake tanning itself, I've tried so many different products. I've tried like the L'Oreal ones, the Naked Skin ones, the Bondi Sand. Some of my like gradual tan favourites are definitely the Dove moisturiser, um, or the Garnier moisturiser is actually quite good as well. Um, it just smells a bit funny. Um, and then the Naked Shower one is really good. Um, but I don't really use that anymore. <laughs> so the two products that I reach for most are the Saint Tropez. This is actually the their normal mousse, but I've been using the Express three hour one, and that's really good. But the one I've been using and absolutely obsessing over recently is the Loving Tan two hour Express in the shade Dark. The part I hate the most about fake tan is having to wait for it to develop, and especially having to sleep in a tan. I hate doing that because I always just have to change the bed sheets afterwards because I hate the smell so much. But this tan is amazing, like two hours is nothing really, like you just pop it on, wait two hours and it's done. So yeah, I'm going to talk you guys through how I apply this. I always make sure to take off every single piece of jewellery I can before I fake tan um, because multiple times in the past I've got halfway through fake tanning and realised I've got all my rings on or like got all my earrings in still. So then once I've removed all of my jewellery I will go in with a bit of moisturiser and just pop it on my really dry areas. Um, I feel like everyone has the general dry areas of the knees, ankles. Um, I tend to put some like under my chest because tan seems to cling there as well. Um, 
and again under my armpits. Um, I don't put any tan under my armpits anymore because it just looks strange. <laughs> then onto the actual tanning, I went through a big phase of just using latex gloves um, because I was so annoyed at how much product all of these mitts would take up but I've been converted to using a mitt again and this one is also from Loving Tan. This is their like suede style mitt, it doesn't soak up half as much product as other mitts do. I still wear a latex glove underneath just because I don't want to have the orange hand um, but this one hasn't gone through if I swap hands and something. So yeah, this is definitely a good investment, this mitt. And it's such like good quality that it will last like a lot of tanning sessions. <laughs> so then on to putting it on my body, I will start with my legs. Um, I do it in two sections. So I do two pumps on the lower half um, and then I will just take it down onto my foot um, and take it back up onto my knee. And then for the top part of my leg, I will do two pumps on the front and then I will try and like look in the mirror at the back and do one pump and see where the areas are that I've missed. <laughs> and then I'll also bring that like up onto my bum. And then I will do one pump on my stomach normally because my stomach tends to take up the tan quite well. Um, so I only need like one pump there. And then I do one pump on each side of the back. Um, and like I tend to do really weird movements to try and get my back. Um, I've got quite good at it, not gonna lie. <laughs> so one trick I found is to have the mitt in your hand and put the tan on top of your hand and then reach around the back and you can get quite high up. And then to get even higher up, I like push my elbow up and like go up the back. It's kind of hard to explain. <laughs> Just a lot of like pushing your elbow further back and like contortioning yourself. Then on the chest area, I like to do two pumps because I like this bit be quite dark because I tend to have this bit on show the most um, and yeah I'll do two pumps I'll just try and keep it in the center and then I take it around up by my neck um, and like slightly onto my back and then onto arms I'll just do one pump and just spread it all up my arm and then really quickly like make sure it goes all the way around my arm and then with the remaining tan I will just take it onto my hands I'll do like a claw shape and just like push it over my hand and also make sure I get this bit here um, just like brush it off slightly <laughs> then sometimes that's okay for the arm but I quite like to go in and add one more pump just on the top of my shoulders because that's where like the sun would naturally hit me and then I'll just gradually like blend that down onto my arm and then finally I will move on to the face and for this I will do just under one pump and I'll just dot it like on my cheeks and my forehead um, because that's where the sun hits and then I will blend it in from there but sometimes I find when you like dollop the tan down it will like stay there a bit more so you have to be quick with tan although saying that the loving tan express two hour one I have not had a single streak from this even if you put it on slightly streaky it just doesn't come out streaky <laughs> it's just amazing I actually can't recommend this product enough I'm obsessed so once I've blended in the face, I will use the excess over my ears and like behind my ears because when you tie your hair up, it can be quite obvious sometimes that there's like a big pale bit there. <laughs> and yeah, and then I will wait an hour and a half um, and then after that hour and a half is up, I will wash off my face and my hands um, just so that these don't develop darker than everything else. And then I'll just set another alarm for half an hour and after that's up, I'll just shower it off. When I'm showering it off, I try not to have too warm of a shower. I try and keep it quite cool, just so it doesn't like open up the pores and take even more of the product out. And yeah, once you've showered it all off, you will look completely pale again. But that's okay because it develops over like six hours or something, I think. So yeah, you will be tanned. It's just... <laughs> it develops. So yeah, that is pretty much it for my tan. I then try and just keep up with moisturisers and everything, shave as little as possible really because then it just takes off more fake tan. And yeah, that is how I fake tan. I hope you guys have found this useful. Let me know in the comments below if there's any fake tanning products that you think I should try. Um, although I'm pretty happy with the ones I have now. <laughs> I will make sure to link down below all of the products that I've mentioned in this video because I honestly love all of these products so much and it's taken me this long to film this video because I really wanted to recommend the right products so yeah 
let me know if you guys have tried them i'd be interested to see like how you found them give this video a like if you liked it and subscribe if you're new and i will see you all in my next video bye